Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do a How Did They Dry um, video on the last three paintings we've done using the Artist Loft Pouring Medium. Here's what that bottle looks like. Don't have very much left in it at all. Um, but this was the first one we did. This was the um, flip cup on one side and the tree ring on the other and I still love it. It is definitely more greens and blues and it was not level when it was drying so it all went off that way you can see. But still really pretty. That white is just this little bitty line now which I really like. I liked it before. I still like it after it moved so that's good. Speaking on that though here are the um, skins that came out of that running off. It actually fell on the floor, so I had to peel it up off the floor. That's the design from that. But look at this like super tight tree ring from it like just dripping and dripping and dripping and dripping. Really cool. It has a very weird texture and I'll show you something on a different one. Um, here's another one from the same drip. It just was in a different spot can see how all those little um, lines form from the drips. This dripped off of one of the paintings. It was just like on the table, like stuck to it. Um, but it's like very stretchy, plasticky feeling. Like normally my skins, if you did this, it would like rip. Like it's like a piece of paper or something. This is like silly putty. <laughs> And sometimes that's what was actually happening when I was like peeling it off of like the floor or I like set it down somewhere and had to peel it off. Um, it, you don't have to do that here on the parchment paper, but if you set it down on something that's not, that's, it's going to stick to, it was like doing this, like stretching it out. It didn't really hurt it. It went back. I don't know if, well, this one ripped finally now that I've been tugging on it during the video. Um, but yeah, it's got a very unique texture and it's it's definitely unique even on the painting compared to my other um, pouring mediums um, they each have their own kind of texture to it so I wanted to show you that because that's kind of fun and um, after we did this one I love the tree ring so much I did another one I think I actually did two on this one because I didn't like the way the first one turned out so I tried it again again the blues and greens took over you only get a little bit of the orange in the middle which is red and yellow there's no actual orange color in the painting um we just had black white red yellow blue in these three so yeah still really cool and then we did the leftover paint that was a little bit of a disaster and here let me tilt you up just slightly this is a skin off of the actual bottle bottle bottom I don't think I've ever been able to pull a skin off of those before but because of the like plastic texture of this paint um I could now it was like super crazy thin obviously um compared to how thick this is um and so like anytime it touches itself it like folds and you can't really get it off and yeah it's just kind of ruined but I wanted to show you that you could actually like peel this off of almost any surface because I've never been able to peel a skin off of a bottle bottom before. So I don't think I'll probably not use that for anything, but I wanted to show you. And then here is this one, uh, still a hot mess. Uh, still didn't get the corners covered. There just wasn't enough paint here and everything was like super dull because of all the black because we had so much black left over. When I, I shouldn't have probably poured it into the cup. That was probably a poor decision on my part. I probably had I had like the cup of leftover paint of the colors and then black and white and then just alternated those as doing the the pour that probably worked would have worked out a lot better but you know we tried and it's still super glossy all of these are completely dry it's been close to a week since I've done these maybe maybe about a week maybe just a five days or so but it's been a while and this is just how they dry they dry super super glossy which I didn't I mean I knew because I've done several of these paintings now but it's crazy because you come in and you're like is it dry is it not dry do I touch it do I not touch it um even these puddles on the ground I was like 
I don't want to like peel it up and it not be um, <laughs> dry yet. <laughs> so it was a little scary on that part of it, but super glossy. So I, I love that. But let me know what you think about these pieces in the comments below. If you've tried the pouring medium for yourself, um, what you think. If you want me to keep trying some other colors or anything, let me all know. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And do it makes you happy.